Welcome to the channel. <clears throat> You're tuned in to Cottage Growing Garden channel. Uh, on this channel, we try to uh, observe uh, every part of life so that we can grow in, in all those areas, right? And I know this is a gardening channel, right? But we also have to recognize that now we in a position where gardening is becoming more of a, a necessity than just a, an operative, something that we might want to do or want to try, right? Um, there's some people that are just not quite woke, woken up yet. They're not quite woke yet. They still, they still, you know, Thinking, thinking in a, you know, the, the greatest country in the world is just going to come through and we're going to be all right. You know, this is just a, this is just a temporary thing that we're going through and that, you know, we can point the finger at some other country on why we're in the positions we in. And because of the narrative, in my opinion, that a lot of times being spread on, on, on these different platforms, uh, to get the people to believe that it's somebody else's fault, <clears throat> that it's not derived from our own uh, negligence of our own people, of our own country, and just not being wise with uh, with who we select as a, in my opinion, as commander in chief. You know, we made this into such a. And it's not it's not our people's fault. You know, it's not it's not our fault that that we got um, political pundits and people that's being paid to come on TV or what I would call tell lie vision, to tell you lies and and keep you thinking one way or the other in order to uh, gain political uh, trust in the people. And then come right back and you know, it's everybody else's fault, but the people that's in charge. You know, they're 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 improper ways of handling certain tactics. Is let's just blame somebody else. You know, you know when we were when we were kids. You know, you, you know when you being a, as a man, let's just talk about manhood. You know, we can talk about being a kid, but when you talk about manhood, right? You know, the, one of the things about manhood is that we always teach. You know, for our, for me and to take. To take responsibility, right? We can't never blame something going on in the household. We can't never blame the woman, right? Even though, you know, it's some it's certain times that, you know, that we all know that you know a woman can be responsible for some stuff that ain't just always the, the man that's the bad seed. But in this world we live in, right, a lot of times men end up taking the blame for a lot of narratives, right? Ain't it funny how when it's time to talk about our country, what's going on here. And, and how things are being uh, deliberately done or, or not being done right, right? Uh, we can go anywhere from the, the public school system to the prisons, how things ain't being done right there either. All the way to politics, to, you know, uh, to, them, to them spraying pesticides and crop dusting and, and, and all in our, in our, uh, in our, uh, our, our, our foods, right? Right, I mean, just the whole narrative of, How these people get down, you know what I'm saying? The planes, what about the planes in the air spraying, you know, allegedly spraying chemtrails, right? In our, in our, you know, in our skies, right? When do, when do we the people ever get to be put first? When is it, when is it honestly about us? You know, this is the question you have to ask yourself, you know, when has it ever really been about us? You know, that's the question that's, that's on the table now. You know, the politicians get what they want. Right, other countries get what they want from our, from our from our politicians. Right, we always lean lean over backwards to stand with other people. When do when do when do we actually stand for the people here in this country? And I ain't talking about I ain't talking about those that have money and success. We always stand for them. Okay, we always praise and worship them. We better not. Some people some people won't watch you because you talk negative about one of their people. You talk, oh, you just hate. 
hating on you hating on the superstar. You hate because you ain't a superstar. Da, 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 da. Don't I don't know that person to be hating on them, and you you know what I'm saying. So I would never do that purposely, but you don't know them either. But here's the thing. Let's just say, for example, this this let me show you how this country, how screwed up this country is. Let's just say, for example, there's a there's a poor man, homeless man, standing outside of a restaurant, right? And uh, he has no food to eat, right? And he literally has to wait till the restaurant is closed so that he can go into their trash can in the back and find something to partake so that he won't go, so he won't starve at night. Right? So he won't, his body won't just break down of lack of nutrition. He has to dig, it, dig in the trash to get it. Now, let's just say that same restaurant has a visitor, like, an un a, 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 they're unaware that this visitor is coming. So let's just say, let's pick somebody. Right, let's just pick a, pick a, 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 a a celebrity, right? Or, or, or if you want to call them celebrity, let's call them a public figure, okay? So let's just say, this is not to be dissing no, none, of the, none of the people who have made success out of their lives. This is not This is not about that. Don't think that's what this is about. This is just still in the story. So follow me. So let's just say Michael Jordan. Let's just use him, okay? We can use anybody, but let's just use Michael Jordan as an example. Michael Jordan comes to that restaurant, Right, that same day, right, he'll be offered a plate of food. He'll go in, and they'll be so excited to have him in there, right, that they will offer him a food, a plate of food, and he won't even in there. And the chef will come out and they'll be like, Michael Jordan, your bill's been taken care of. Don't, don't worry about it. So, this is how screwed up our country is. We think it's more important to feed celebrities and take care of them than we do the poor, right. What about our, what about our 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 government, our 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 government, right? How how much do they take care of? They claim they they always talking about. They get on TV and they make a big, I big deal about our about our um uh, our veterans, right? Our veterans, our veterans, and we're doing this for our veterans and our veterans, right? But but. Why don't the veterans ever get to speak up, right? Because they, and I, 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 try, I truly honestly believe that they control the narrative of even when the, some veterans do speak, right? That they don't never, you will never hear from the veterans that don't get taken care of. You don't hear about the veterans that come home on drugs, you know, from war, or come home from P, from 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 uh from war with PSTD and don't get the health care and, and, and help that they need, right? And, and the veterans that end up in jail for being on being on drugs. You know they end up that 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 end up losing their families because of their PSTD, because because the, the family doesn't know what in the world's wrong with them, and they they refuse to get help or they they, they don't acknowledge that they have it. You know, they just want to try to get back to normal on the, on their own. And so I mean, so many it's so many issues that we have, you know, what I'm saying, in, in this country that that we don't look out for people. You know, what I'm saying. And not saying that we always look out for celebrities, because how many celebrities you know strung out on drugs and this, that, and the other, and nobody that's in the in the industry does anything to help those people either. Right? It's like they, it's like they capitalize enough of them being drunk and being high and not being able to be in their right minds. Right? Where the good nature, where's what happened to humanity? Right? What happened to humanity? And Karen. So in my opinion, in my opinion, humanity has disappeared just like I just did from the camera and from and, and all of a sudden it got quiet. And nobody knew where I was at for those few minutes, right? People were like, did he, did, he, did, did the signal go out? Did, what happened? Why, why are he quiet? Why are he, he stop talking? Right? That's what happened. To him. That's how humanity is right now. 
we're still wondering. We're still wondering what happened. Where is humanity yet? Where where are the, where are the, where is the humanity in, in in this country? Is it does it does it even exist anymore? Right? Do we are we do we do we as people truly care? Right? Uh, are 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 these people who are in charge? Are they just lying to us? Are they telling us what they want us to believe? Where is the care and concern for hum for humanity? Where's it at? Is it even is it even a part of the fabric of our country anymore? How was it ever a part of? Was it ever a part? Right? Has it always just been smoking mirrors and, and lies and cover ups, right? And God forbid if you if you have a different of a, a different opinion than somebody else, because you know you're not into so, you're not into social media or, or you're not into listening to uh, what's on TV. You know what I'm saying? You found a way to do some research behind the behind the doors. You got people that got boots on the ground in certain countries and cities that you can see what's going on there. And so you don't you're not listening to the mainstream media what they're telling you, right? You got your own. You got your own intel on how to find these things out. Now you were traded to the country. You are you are you're against America. You're not a you're not a citizen, right? I mean, these people play all kind of games. With po politics is a, is one of the most evilest tricks that has ever existed, right? Politicians play the same game that the, that you will say. You know those are those that know. Anything about religion, right? It, it it speaks that the greatest trick was ever done, right? Was ever was ever was ever performed was that the devil, uh, uh, made itself not to seem to be not to be not to exist, right? That was the, that was the greatest trick that he ever performed. That nobody knew that the devil was real, or believed that the devil was real. And he so he was able to hide, right, as a, just a fictional fictional character in life. Right, and now we see the politicians. The greatest trick they doing the same thing. The greatest trick that they ever uh, performed was making us believe that they care about people, that they care about the American citizens. By by what? By first making everybody think that they care about showing that they care about every other country and every other anybody else over there in another in another country before they care about their own people. Doing for other people, doing for other countries. Doing for other citizen people, doing for people who ain't citizens of this country, so they gotta care about this country. I mean, look at what we did. Look at what. Look at how we've done the people of the poor. We've developed a, a welfare system. Yeah, that's which is a which, in my opinion, is a control system because if anybody steps outside of that and has their own opinion, right? They they're completely they're completely sucked into your world. So you can shut them. You can shut them down immediately. If they if they you know if they, you know, it's like it's one thing. Here's the thing. It's not like people are stupid or incapable of being successful. What about instead of instead of instead of instead of harboring dollars and and, and giving them, you know, uh, 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 low income houses and and food stamps? How about give them entrepreneurial spirits, entrepreneurial uh, 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 access, right? Training that they need, right? Which you know in school. You know, give them something when they leave school, they can actually do something with, right? When they leave high school, right? For those that won't go to college and spend another hundred thousand dollars on school to regurgitate different things, how about give them a trade or some type of coding that they can bring to the table? You know, some kind of skill, or, or how about uh, 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 you know, embracing their talent or gift that they have and making sure that 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 they, whatever they do that talent or gift is that they have that they're able to use it successfully in this country without without the politics of life. See, these people such they such politicians. Everything in the planet, everything in the, on the planet that they, that's going on this earth that has anything to do with success has got some kind of politic to it, right? And I'm talking about and when I say tick ain't far from trick, okay? Some kind of some kind of underhandedness, some kind of dis D dis disposal if you ain't down with the go along get along right set out the bus life for that one hold on y'all let me get some more of this water this time i'm gonna leave and let you know why i'm leaving
you know, it's funny that I could, it's funny how people could just use the television to make the whole world believe or think what they want. And they, they're like, well, you we can just, you know, we want them to believe it. Just put it on TV. Just say it on the news. Just say it on here. Just, just, just spread this, this information here. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. How are these people going to know if we're telling the truth or not? When we're on TV, they're going to believe we're saying the truth anyway. Right? This is my opinion about how some of these people get down when it comes to the politics of this country. I'm never going to forget that they assassinated uh, Dr. King. I'm never going to forget that they assassinated Malcolm X. I'm never going to forget that they assassinated uh, Abraham Lincoln. I'm never going to forget that they assassinated uh, JFK, allegedly. Right? I'm never going to forget these things. So you're not going to make me think that them people that did that are now gone. They was all just, just personal, private citizens of the country. It had nothing to do with politicians and their evil ways. I'm, not, I'm never going to forget that JFK went on vacation and, and took a plane and flight. JFK Jr. took a flight. And uh, he was he was about to be trying to be the he was going against Hillary Clinton for senator, and all of a sudden this plane uh, crashes, right while he's while he's going out of town or whatever. Um, you know I don't know if he was, like I said I said vacation I don't know if he was going on vacation or not guys I know he I know he it was a plane crash. You know what I'm saying? Ain't it funny how that happens? The people that we love so dearly that's the people that's that's that 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 we that that have a different side. Th these politicians don't even want to be they don't even want to be confronted with how they are. They just want. They, it, it, they only want one way, their way. It's, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about it's so it's so evil and twisted. You know what I'm saying? These people will do anything, and it's like I ain't had nothing to do with that. This plane crash had nothing. So so uh, so it's just it's just a miraculous time that as soon as you were trying to be the senator against one of the against uh, 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 arguably against one of maybe one of the most popular men in our country, right? And you don't have to go against him to be to be the senator because he he allegedly crashes. On a plane, before right be, right before it's time to 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 decide which one of you are going to get the position, him or you. I'm never going to forget that, and I'm not saying I'm not blaming anybody for it. I'm just saying there's some wickedness in our country that is not being addressed. There's some deceitfulness in this country that is not being addressed, and then they cover it all up with a big smile and 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 a, and a, and, a, and, a, and a three letters, right. Couple of letters, and it could be any letter, right? Fox, or ABC, CBS, CNN, right? All of these stations, right? They all come on channel. They all come on TV with a narrative, with a set up narrative of what they want people to believe about what they're telling them. They they call themselves trusted news people when it's obviously that they're not. And and today I'll prove that. I'll prove that they. That they have some shadiness to them and they have some biasness to them. See, when you bias, when you're a biased person, right? Then you don't have to, you don't have no, you don't have no expectancy on telling the truth towards anybody because you're biased. See, I've never been a I've never been a party type of person. I've never been like, oh, I'm a Democrat or I'm a Republican or I believe in this party, that party. No, I've always paid attention to these suckers and I seen I seen wickedness on both sides. And, and so a lot of times my people, right, as you can see, I'm a melanated person, don't like calling out the Democrats. We'll call the, we'll call the Republicans out. You see what they did? You see, you know, some of those, some of those that, are, that are, that are, you know, are into politics. We'll call out the, we'll call out the Republicans in a minute. But when the Democrats start doing stupid stuff, then all of a sudden we get quiet. It's a dude I, I know for a fact he has a YouTube channel and he's a Democrat and he's always on there. You know, talking about the Republicans and this and that. And then Republicans got dirty hands too. You know, they do dirty, underhanded crap too, right? But whenever, he, whenever, whenever it's a, whenever it's a, a, a something going on with the with the Democrats, this dude, this dude, all of a sudden his 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 channel doesn't have any videos up there. I won't I won't say his name, but out of just respect for him being a human being and and and, and me not calling, and I don't like that drama. I don't like that YouTube drama. I see too much of it. And I'm not, I'm not into that. I care about truth. That's all I care about. I care about truth. I don't care about parties or, 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 or politicians and, and who my favorite this is or, or who I support. I care about truth. And I can tell when I'm being lied to. 
And it's not my fault that a lot of people, a lot of people don't know when we're being lied to. We don't know when we're being lied to by the mainstream media. We don't know when we're being, when we're being lied to by corporations. We don't even know. You ever go to a job interview and you leave and they're like, all right, we'll give you a call. And you can tell when they're telling you they give you a call, they not. Like some people, some people don't have the gift of discernment. They can't discern when somebody's supportive of them, like them, and don't interested in hiring them and and or just telling you what you, what they think you want to hear in the moment. And this is what we have going on in this country: a lot of false, false doctrines, false people, false politicians, business. Business people are like, we have a lot of shady, shadiness in business. You know what I'm saying? You can't trust these people, right? And it's like, you have to get to know people. And how do you get to know somebody? They hiding behind this narrative or that narrative. Or they hiding behind uh, a, 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 a name or, or, or a, you know, or a party, right? And, that, and, and that's what they hope for. That's what, that's what a lot of these politicians are hoping for. That you guys will continue to follow behind them based upon what party they claim. Right? Despite despite having no good intentions. As I water my plants, man, I'm, I'm, it's, it's getting close to spring and the weather is getting nicer outside as it goes. I'll be able to transfer a lot of my plants out of here and directly into the garden. I'm so uh, excited about that opportunity. And I'm not ashamed or afraid to speak my truth. Most people only want to speak when being spoken to or only want to speak when they when they feel like they can ride the narrative of what's being uh, uh the popular conversation that's being spread amongst the people. It's hard for people to stand up and go against the narrative of, of what's being being uh, propagated out to the to the, we the people. So if I get on here and say something opposite, right, then there's then you get the censorship or you get the haters. You know, I I, I was I, I had somebody the other day. Uh, I guess they were checking out one of my lives, and then I had to, and I really wasn't saying nothing direct, and they was like. Why well, does that ask a question? What's your opinion on the on the on the on the uh on the what's your excuse me, y'all? I don't want to be rude, show my backside. What's your what's your opinion on the uh on the NATO and on, on the on the Ukraine situation and what's your opinion on and you asking me these questions why? You know what I'm saying? You don't care about my political background. It, it, it's, it's so bad, it's so bad now. Folk don't want to date somebody. Right? Watch this. Just now, now watch. In the scriptures, it tell people. To not be unevenly yoked with, with, with non-believers, right? But now we got people care more about your political annex or your background or beliefs than, than your spiritual ones and your religious ones, right? They don't care if you're an atheist or whatever. They just they just don't want you to be a, a supporter of somebody who they don't support, right? Or, you know, and it's just the weirdest thing in this world that we live in, man. We're dealing with this, with this condescending lifestyle of people just not being real with themselves, Right? Because once we get caught up in what the what the tell our vision tell us to do and how to feel, how to act, right? Some people just program. You know what I'm saying? It ain't my fault. You program and I'm not. And I'm not being disrespectful to anybody. That's you know, nobody specifically. It's just there's a lot of people out here that's programmed. And they believe everything that's put out there. You know, even though, even though they were, even though, remember the remember the remember the statement, believe, but you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Believe half of what you hear and, and you know what I'm saying. And on and only and the only other half of what you actually see, because people, you know what I'm saying, the hands fat the hands quicker than the eye. Somebody can deceive you with they with their hands, they can deceive you with your with their mouth, right? And and instead, until you start doing your own research, we, that's that used to be a big thing. You know, doing your own research was a was a was a clever thing and, and you know when we in a in a form of consciousness, right? Like, you know, research and do your own research. Don't trust nobody else's information. You know what I'm saying? Find out, you know what I'm saying? Do a plethora of inf 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 of informing yourself. So that you will know what you're talking about, right? So that you will have the true agenda. But some of us are so sick and so bedridden off of people's dialect and they, and they party and this, that, and the third that we that we we refuse to do any research. You know why? Because we want to believe what what that what that party is saying. 
We want to we want to take them totally by at a word. I don't take anybody else's word. That's why I don't mind checking out different uh checking out different platforms or different uh uh different videos uh from different people right and people that have you know different pe boots on the ground or different uh, uh excuse me I drop I dropped a I dropped something I'm in here cleaning it up excuse me that's why I pause different people's platforms different people uh doing their own research right uh people that have boots on the ground in certain areas certain countries to show us what's actually going on, you know what I'm saying? Not just, not just, you know, taking the narrative that somebody want to, that's or some, some, some information that somebody spread to you because they got a fucking, excuse my language, but they got a, they got a camera and a microphone in their face. Does not mean they're telling you the truth. Okay. And we, we as a people, we as a nation have got to wake up from that. Everybody that has a camera and a microphone. Okay. And, 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 you know, on, on, on TV, it's not the, always the people that's telling the truth. But this is what we believe. It's impossible for these folks to be lying to us. Why would, they, why would they lie to us? Why would they lie to us? Well, if, I knew, if I knew the food shortages was coming, right? If I knew the food shortages was coming and I, and I, was, and I got prepared, way, way prepared, Right. And I knew this. I knew this years ago. OK, I, and I'll tell you how I knew this years ago. That meant that mean, guess what? The mainstream media knew it years ago. Our government knew it years ago. Wake up, y'all. Peace.